Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today I wanted to show you my two New York City subway map coffee mugs that I created myself on Zazzle.com. I did these about close to 10 years ago. What I did was I started with a blank mug on Zazzle.com. I had uploaded images that I scanned of old subway maps that I have in my collection. The subway maps that are on these mugs are of the 1969 revision that you see on the right and two 1974 Massimo Vignelli maps that you see on the mug on the left. Now, these maps came out actually better than what I had expected and the quality is pretty good. The images have never faded and so I really like these mugs. They're they also can be very useful to drink from, although I don't uh, use it for that purpose. I just use it as a display. And it's just something that is very interesting, very unusual, because you really don't see uh, a New York City subway map mug uh, all that often. Uh, they may sell one, sell one at the Transit Museum, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, not exactly like this that I've created, and certainly not of the 1969 map. Uh, and probably not of the 1974 map either. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at these two mugs that I created on Zazzle.com. So, this mug is of the 1969 revision map. And there are two images on this mug. This particular image that we see here is of Upper Manhattan, Queens, and the Bronx. So here is another view of it where you, could, where you can see Manhattan and the Bronx as well as part of Western Queens. Now because of the way the scale of the image was imprinted on the mug you really cannot read the station names all that well. But it's still a nice effect, and I still really like the way these mugs came out. And here's a close-up image that shows the area around DeKalb Avenue in the center of the mug. Now, this second mug is of two Massimo Vignelli maps from 1974. And this center image here shows the front of one of those maps that had 12 bullets of 12 different lines of the New York City subway system. This image here shows the front of the other type of 1974 Vignelli map. And here, as you can see, the station names are very readable as the font was much bigger than on the 1969 map. Now, this is the other side of the 1974 second type of Massimo Vignelli map. This was the back of the map when the map was fully folded. So the previous image was the front of the map, and this is the back of the map when it was folded up. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my two New York City subway map coffee mugs. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.